So we have Eurasian Emperor who tweets out, these are the kind of Indian immigrants we need. And we have this delectable Desi princess talking to this square-jawed white woman who's, she's in cowgirl boots, so maybe she isn't like a turbo um, leftist. I got a feeling she's a thought, though. This this Indian chick, yeah, probably a thought, too, but at least she's aesthetically pleasing to look at. At least she shaved her body. So I agree with this opinion. These are the kind of Indian immigrants the West needs. In fact, I think every Indian woman from the age of 18 to 24 with a BMI under 24 should be given permanent visas to, to the USA. That's all I'm saying, right? And that's all I'm saying. He says the age of the curry Latina is upon us. Oh my, <laughs> this dude is wild. This is what the Eastern hunter gatherers saw when they crossed the Hindu, the Indus. She definitely has an only fans guys. Definitely. Ant, this raccoon dude, says, Coomers shouldn't be in charge of immigration. I actually disagree. If Coomers were in charge of immigration, there would be zero immigrant grape. Immigrants wouldn't be graping anybody. They wouldn't, because it'd all be chicks that look like this. Now we have a very, very upset black male feminist. He just likes to talk shit. And when I, literally, this guy... We beef on Twitter. Whenever I smack him with a green hand, like stomp simping, he'll like lock down the conversation so only his fans <laughs> can reply. <laughs> Beta. He refuses to call into the show because he probably sounds like this. Black men need to come first. Black men, white men are betas and black men are all alpha. Probably sounds like that. Probably sounds like Urkel. Probably can hear a smoke alarm going off in the background. Probably can hear, you know, his mom screaming at, like, the third kid with ADD. All different dads, you know. Yaxton, take care of your of your little of your little brother, Ty Dre Dre. <laughs> He's like, no, mom. I'm talking about how black men need to come first on Twitter. <laughs> That's probably why he won't call in. But uh, anyhow, he says this. I want hashtag white woman to pay attention. If you have sex with one black male, you are a, quote, disgusting coal burner biatch race trader, unquote. Yes. Yes. 100%. White chicks that being black guys are coal burners. Are they bitches? Well, I won't say they're bitches. I mean, unless you think all women are bitches. Like, oh, bitches this, bitches that. But that's more of a, it's more of like a black guy thing to refer to all women as bitches. I don't really, um think that but you know sometimes people be like oh bitches do this where's your bitches where's my bitch at that kind of stuff uh race trader um yeah no she's she's opening her womb for a man outside of her race uh, it's quite literally a race trader big deal who cares if you find your white queen because this dude gets ups- this is the guy that got upset when i said black men can do better than white single mothers he's the one that got pissed off he's like you're just mad the white single mothers are, you know, are, are, are choosing big, strong, alpha black men. I'm like, no, I, I, I think black men who are masculine can do better than fat white women. I think black men who are masculine can do better than white single mothers. I think black men that are masculine can do better than white chicks who've been run through by all the white guys in the area and now has to start jumping on black dudes. That's what I think. You're just jealous. You just have a small pee-pee. You're just gay. Whatever. It's like the way these black um, supremacists, these these black male feminists, the way they try to attack me is the same way that white female feminists attack me. It's all bitch thing. It's 100% all bitch thing. So I like to talk about it because, you know, a lot of black guys feel like nobody cares about black men because the government hates them. Black women hate them. Black men hate them. You know, they're shooting each other. Uh, white guys supposedly hate them. Everybody hates them. So they'll turn to accounts like this, blackmail first, like this guy speaks the truth, but really he's just a feminist, right? He's defending race mixing from a white woman perspective. Why? Because he hates himself so much. He needs to have children with a white woman. He needs his kids to be more white than him. There's some kind of, there's some kind of disease here where you you hate yourself so much, you hate your father so much, you don't want your kids to resemble your father. That's what white women with black baby daddies 
and dudes like black male first have in common. They can't stand the thought of the idea of them having a family that looks like their family. Why do white women burn coal and give kids to black dudes? Because they have daddy problems. Because they hate their father. They hate their tribe. They see white men as weak. Because there ain't been a white man around to lay down the wood on them. Physically, sexually, spiritually, however you want to interpret that. Why does black male first? Why does this five foot two Urkel feel the urgent need to find what they call a snow queen? Why? Because he never knew his father. He never knew his father and his mother ran the household and he lived in a single mother hellscape in the hood his entire life. So he doesn't even, he can't even comprehend what a masculine black man is because his mom opened the legs up like a DeLorean for Tyrone or Tiresias or Urkelus Maximus. And then he scooted. So he's like, maybe if I get with a white woman, I won't have the same family situation as my mother made for me. Well, guess what? Over 90% of women who give children to black men end up getting dumped by those black men. It's like over 90%. So the majority of these white single mothers that give kids to black men, they either chase a good black man off or they choose Tyrone. And Tyrone doesn't stay around and take care of the kid. So you think you're going to avoid a single motherhood situation by going for a white woman, when white women, if you're a black guy, they are more likely than black women to make you have bastards. They will divorce you. They'll call white cops on you. They'll attack you. They'll treat you like trash. But because you see a couple black celebrities with hundreds of millions of dollars with a white wife, you think that's the place you need to go to. And when white guys are just like, well, the white women that choose black guys, they're probably hoe bags. You're, like, you're just mad, white boy. You just have small pee-pee. But 4chan says is mud dick. That's the argument, mud dick. And it's so true. You talk to any of these guys from one of the two tweets, they'll, they'll start talking about BBC, mud dick. It's just like, bro, you watch too much pornography. C close the incognito tabs for at least half the day on your computer, please. Right? So he says, we talked about the coal burning. She says, but if a white boy, if white boys sweep chimneys, it's well, it's okay because these are the type of immigrants we need. Sweep, I guess sweep chimneys mean like have sex with um, non-white women. So wait, are you saying there's a double standard? Did this black male first, did this black male first feminist, black male feminist first, this is black male feminist just complain about double standards between men and women? Why is it bad that when white women bang black guys, but it's not bad when white guys bang black girls? Why is it so bad? Because guess what, feminist scum? Guess what, my egalitarian, bro? I know you're egalitarian. I know it. I know you're a feminist. I know it. I just feel it. I mean, it's proven here. Men and women are treated differently. Men and women are valued differently. Imagine that. Imagine that. Imagine men having more allowance to do things sexually than women. Imagine purity being valued in women versus men. But you're like, we should all be equal. I saw Chad and Brad go to town on a Desi Queen. Uh, my third video I watched, I beat R2, but I don't get any white woman matching with me on Tinder. It's not fair. Stop the double standards. I need my snow bunny queen. Yeah, your snow bunny queen is more like a snow walrus. She's 380 kilograms and she's got two kids with different daddies. But you can go ahead and date her and smash her and be like, I own the white man. Yeah, well, you're, you're itching, that burning sensation you feel in your heart. That burning sensation is also in your urethra. She gave you chlamydia. Okay, bro? I'm not mad about coal burners burning coal. They're trash. They're trash. They're trash before they burn coal. And they burn coal because they're trash. Who cares? The minority, the absolute minority of white, female, black male relationships that succeed, you know what they're focused on? Family. God. Traditionalism. The black guys definitely don't LARP on Twitter as some alpha male. And the white women definitely don't have pictures of their asses on Instagram. But you're not attracted to those kind of white women because you think you deserve the 10 out of 10 white thought that has her G-string on on Instagram because you're a big, strong black man. Okay. Sure. Sure. So we got 
the prime example of a racial feminist. Why, why, why is it so bad when white women bang? And you know what the funny thing is too? An Indian chick banging a bunch of white guys. Ask Indian men what they think about that. Do you think they're going to have a positive reaction to it? Or are they going to have a negative reaction to it? Huh. It's probably going to be negative. It's probably going to be similar to a coal burner situation. How about Asian dudes? What are white guys getting yellow fever? You think it's okay for white dudes to bang Asian chicks? Who are you asking? Who are you listening to? White men. Why, why you only listen to white men and their opinions? Why? Because again, you want a white woman so your kids can be white. Because honestly, on the inside, you wish you were white. You only listen to white guys. Ask Asian guys what they think about white dudes like me going to town on Asian chicks. They don't like it. Surprise. You, you never consider listening to Asian guys, Indian guys, black guys. You only listen to what a white man says and you got to fight against it. You know, it's like the pastor hiding his gay secrets. It's like you trying to be pro-black, pro-black, pro-black. You just wish you were white, bro. That's why you want to talk to me. You get exposed, bro. You get exposed. I said, women or men are treated differently. Boy, you are a massive feminist. Yep, that's what what it is. Racial feminists at its finest. Disgusting. Weak, disgusting, kind of racist towards himself, ironically. And beta male behavior. If you want to support the show, consider donating to cashapp.cashsignundechronic. That's cashapp.cashsignundechronic. The link is pinned.